as we know, um, Cam Newton was definitely a big topic in the offseason um, about where he is going. So there's been a rumor um, that he is open to going to the, uh, I'm sorry, the Seattle Seahawks are open to have him. Uh, now, we all know that Russell Wilson has never uh, not started, right, <laughs> since he's been not, not on, wood. We're not on, some wood on, on the Seahawks. So uh, apparently uh, people did speak to um, Cam Newton's team, and of course he feels, in, and so does his team, that he should be a starter quarterback. However, he is open to the idea of being a backup um, and taking that that position at Seahawks. Um, so it's very interesting because, you know, I'm a big fan of Cam Newton, and I do think that he is a starter. Um, but, of course, I mean, having a guy like Russell Wilson who literally does no wrong <laughs> on and off the field is um, a hard person to, I guess, I don't want to say compete against, but, yeah, he definitely would be a backup. Um, so what are your what are your thoughts on on that combination happening in Seattle? If I'm Cam, I'm not going to Seattle to be a backup quarterback. I don't have a problem with being a backup quarterback, but it's not going to be in a place where there's probably a 90 percent chance that I'm not ever going to get into a football game, which means that I can't showcase my myself, you know, for next season to try to get a, a long term nice money deal. So mm -hmm. if I'm Cam, if I, if I got to settle for being the backup, then I got to go to Miami or the Chargers or one of these teams that either don't have a good starting quarterback or just not there yet or has an injury-prone starting quarterback, maybe Jacksonville, you know what I mean? Because I need to put myself in a position where I, at some point I'm going to get to showcase that, yo, I'm still at MVP level talent, and, and he's not going to be able to do that being a backup for Russell Wilson. Right. I yeah, I, uh, Trip is right. I think Seattle would be a very tough situation for me to back up in because you're probably not going to play at all. I think the biggest hindrance right now for Cam is the fact that he was held, uh, he was hurt all of last year, and now with the quarantine, no one's getting the opportunity to see if he's truly healthy. And so teams can't interview him one-on-one. -on -one. They can't bring him into the facility. They can't let their doctors even examine him at this point. So it's all up in the air. I'm sure there are coaches out there who are intrigued by his talent but they also feel a little skeptical that is he 100% healthy at this point. And that's the toughest part for him. And um, I, I've been on record as saying, I think the Patriots would be the great, the best fit for him, I think. Uh, but he may have to go to Jacksonville. He may have to go uh, to a situation that doesn't have the strongest starting quarterback where he would possibly come in. Right. Cause Russell, I mean, and, and this sounds uh, horrible to bring up, but it's the reality, right? We also know that this, NFL, you know, they, they feel a way about their black quarterbacks, you know? And I thought about that too. Like, it's unfortunate that sometimes these teams have like their token as well. And like for him and Russell Wilson to be on the same team, and not just saying because they're African American, but just how hard it is for black quarterbacks in general. I think um, that, that combo in itself, I just think they're both big stars that need to be respected. And I know even though he was injured, um, yeah, to Tripp's point, it would be a disservice for him to go on a team like that with Russell. Like, I just think that's just not a good idea. He shouldn't be open to it at all. Um, I do want to spread the black quarterbacks out around the league. I don't want to to the good Well, that's what I was kind of saying. I'm going to say, it's just, I'm gonna say if I don't want all the black quarterbacks bunched up on one team. We need to show kids because, because, again, this is the right. position for the longest time that they said African Americans could not play. Right. I don't want to see two good black quarterbacks on the same team. One of you know which is not ever going to get to play because even right. if let's just say if Russell Wilson has two games back to back where he throws three interceptions, it's still not benching him and putting Cam Newton in. Right. right. I mean, to me, it's more about I want to see Cam in the best situation because this is a guy who did win an MVP. This is a guy who did take a team to a Super Bowl. So let's not forget just how talented he is. You know what I'm saying? For me, I would like to see him go to a situation where he could, if he's not ready to play from day one, at least would have the opportunity to be there and showcase his talent at some point this year. Um, uh, the Patriots, I think the Chargers would be a really good fit. You know, so there are certain situations that I think if he could go to with the talent that those teams already have, we could be reminded again of how good Cam Newton is, as opposed to him holding a clipboard in Seattle and we don't see him until week 16, week 17, when the Seahawks are already in the playoffs and they're just trying to rest Russell Wilson so he doesn't get injured. Right. Yeah. I'd really look into Miami, though, if I'm him, because, you know, they drafted Tua, and, you know, you could give Tua, you know, extra time to get back. 
And I, they still got Ryan Fitzpatrick. And, you know, he can either be lights out or he can completely stink it up. So, I, you know, Cam could go in there and get some quality playing time. The only, only thing with Miami is that because two is the future, if you're Cam, no matter how great you play this year, they're not signing you long term. And then you're back in this cycle again next all season of trying to find a team that's willing to pay you. Um, exactly. You know, so I, I think the Chargers could be a situation because I don't think, um, you know, that they're completely sold on moving forward with Justin Herbert, at least not next year. Justin Herbert might not be ready for two or three years. So yeah. he could go there and hold that down. Granted, they have Tyrod Taylor, who's another black quarterback, who he had to wait his opportunity out as well. You know, now he's getting a second chance or really a third chance, but he's getting an opportunity now. So, again, you wouldn't want to kind of shortstop what he's trying to do as well. Um, yeah. But I think no matter what, even if Cam isn't your day one starter, at some point in this upcoming season, if we get a full NFL season, we all know Cam Newton is good enough that he should be a starting quarterback in the league. There's no debating that. Yeah. This is Deion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. <laughs> Real as you thought, 